All right, you start off by going to deepseat.com, put slash en if you wanna go straight to English. Top right, there is a API platform link, hit that. It'll ask you to sign up or log in. I like logging in with an existing Google account. It's the easiest way. Once you're logged in though, on the left, hit API keys. This is gonna be your identity when you use the API. Hit create new API key. Give it a name, any name works, and then hit create API key. Now it's going to show you the API key one time. You can always create a new key. It takes 10 seconds here, but copy this and either keep the key somewhere safe or if you're gonna use it right away, I just drop it into notepad temporarily, but copy that key because it's about to go away and you're not gonna see it again. Click done and then in the left, nav column, hit top up. This is where you add money to your account so that you can call the API. The minimum amount is $2. If you're wondering how far is $2 gonna get you, that will take Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment, one of his shorter novels, from Russian, translate it to English, in conversational English, then give you morphological analysis of every single word. So all the grammatical details of each word in JSON format, plus that dynamic English translation, all for $2. So it's a very cheap API. Start with just the $2, but put in your credit or debit card details. Hit pay down at the bottom, and once Payment is successful, hit done. That's all you need to do on the DeepSeek platform itself. Now let's use this. I keep all my coding projects in an apps folder in the C drive. I'm gonna open that up, create a new project folder. I'm gonna call it DeepSeek API. Then inside of that, I'll create a Python file. You can do a new text file, name it, whatever you want, .py, hit enter. I'm gonna open this up in my VS code. And then I just have an example script in the description of this video that you can paste in here. But any Python you have will need some sort of variable for the API key. So I paste my API key into that variable string and save the whole file. To run this, open up your command line interface. I like PowerShell. On Windows, you can always search for CMD and open command prompt. To navigate up to my C drive, I type CD backslash, navigate into my apps folder with CD space apps, and then into my project folder with CD DeepSeek dash API, hitting enter. And then to call the DeepSeek API from code, I'm gonna need some sort of a client library. DeepSeek uses the same API structure as OpenAI, which is not surprising because they stole their models. It's a lot easier for me just to use the OpenAI client Python library. I can install that with pip space install space OpenAI. Hit enter. Give this just a couple minutes to install on your computer. Once that's done, I can run my Python file. Command is Python space and then my file name, including the extension .py. And that Python code in the description just allows you to send questions to DeepSeek through your command line interface here. So I can type out a question hit enter, and then my Python code will call the DeepSeek API. DeepSeek API answers are not easy to process. They got a lot of information, it's messy, but somewhere in this response, there's the answer I'm looking for. If I ask it a follow-up question, DeepSeek has no idea what I'm talking about. Every call has no context beyond the call. So you have to put in any information relevant to what you're doing in the prompt that that your Python or other code sends. 